again it's like we never left it is new york tech cybers versus the saint joseph's college golden eagles unfortunately we did miss game one due to that longer overwatch game than we expected there to be but we are going to be back we are back and ready to go at it cyber is going to be on the red side for this one and the the eagles will be on the blue side cybers already 1-0 over their opponents now yeah. um we're gonna be getting into game two the draft is coming out timo with the same band from last game and there is gonna be the new band that's gonna be coming out from the eagles hegram gets banned this is very obvious so considering God. that both junglers uh both of myt's junglers can play hegram and atrox gets banned Shen gets banned from M from the Eagles, and Vayner gets banned. So the same band coming in from NYT. Nothing, uh, nothing super, super new. Teemo, yeah. what's the reason? Do you know what the reason for the Teemo was? Yeah, they probably got PTSD from last year. What? But <laughs> oh no. Uh, I think the Teemo pick is just something not mm. many people are prepared for. This is something like really niche mm -hmm. niche pick that they can't just practice for so uh diana pick does get first pick by the eagles which is really uh interesting because they also picked it last game uh it's a first pick and samir in return gets picked so we're probably gonna see a support pick here um oh and a Quinn. Quinn. Oh man, I have not seen a Quinn in a while. I always think that they're gonna rework her, but they never do. But Quinn is such an interesting character. Oh, oh. Uh, that's just very surprising. I've actually did not expect that pick. Okay, so Senna does get picked. I mean, that means uh, I think we are not allowed to see the Tom Kent on that side. It was banned by a. Uh by officials for glitches and bugs. And Malphite Malphite, does get picked. Yeah. Um this is a really good pick in response to the two eighty picks that were coming out and Azir does end up being Wow, okay. Um <laughs> yeah, Azir being uh, we came in on a good game, everyone. everyone. Just so you know, we came in on a very, very good game. The Yasuo is going to be banned out by New York Tech on to St. Joseph's. As we're going to see the Azir pick coming through, Nautilus banned out. Yeah, Nautilus what, is how is this going to So Azir mid, Quinn top. top? Yeah, so I mean, these two champions that uh, NY picked, New York Tech picked recently are just... Not something you ever see at all. So the Yasuo band does make sense. There's two champions that I'm actually knocks up. Really good setup for the Yasuo. Two, and now it's banned. And so Leona the does Rams. get banned. And we'll probably see like probably another like scary pick like a Ramus or something. Ramus already banned. Oh yeah, by <laughs> MY New York Tech too. Wow. Um. <laughs> We're probably gonna see some random jungle. Amumu. Amumu. Wow. The Yo Moo Moo. This is back, ladies and gentlemen. Season one Yo Moo Moo's back in game. Yeah, and we're giving the counter pick two to support, which is probably gonna hold this team uh, together. So we'll probably see like a jungle pick here. Oh, a Galio. Okay. So, this is gonna be a Diana jungle into a Galio mid. <laughs> or this is a Galio support, and we still don't know where this Diana goes. Uh, a lot of flags is coming out. Nico, and oh my god, okay. Um, okay um, Nico, oh. okay, but well, hear me out. Nico mid, Malphite support, Galio top. No, 
No, Malphite top. Yeah, Malphite top, Galio support. But, I mean, there's way too many flex picks um, from the side of... St. Joseph's? St. Joseph's, yeah. And Maokai. Well, yeah, they just also do not have answers to this, and Maokai does get picked. And we'll see uh, what the actual picks are. I'm so interested to see what these swaps are going to be. Ooh, it actually might be Galio mid, uh, support. Let's yeah, go. And yeah, I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I just did, don't know. How did game one go? Please give us a play by play before we start breaking down these so, picks. We still have a lot of time on our hands. Game one, we understood the comps. Uh, both teams understood their own comps. Except for St. Joseph, they understood it too well to the point where they were playing really safe. They understood what they were going for, but they couldn't just like, you know, hedge something. Uh, what I mean by hedging, it's like, they they couldn't find that one little piece where they would get the advantage from their win condition. They understood where to get it, they just don't know like how to get it. And so we'll see coming from St. Joseph this game it's like let's see if they understand how to actually win team fights um team fights their team fighting comp is really really good and i'm that nyt you know they for a team fighting comp um that was picked up by st john's last game the response was a silas and nyt this time around they just did not go for the silas again this time which is really surprising considering that there's four ults that are really good for team fighting uh, for this side of uh, St. Joseph. So maybe we'll see like some sort of a turnaround this time in terms of team fighting coming from St. St. Joseph's. And yeah, MYT, I mean New York Tech, I just... This is a really surprising <laughs> team cop. <laughs> like... I've never seen Hecti 12 play anyone, um, any champion that requires a skill shot with their ultimate. So we'll see with Azir. He might prove me wrong. And Magrath, he is known to be the number one Quinn hater. He actually cannot play. <laughs> Did he lose Quinn. a bet? Is what I'm asking. I. <laughs> is he losing? Is he your, losing? Your guess is as best as my. I don't know what's going on, um, but the only lane that I do know for sure, um, it's a Samir Maokai. These, um, these two picks are really like, kind of, just pocket picks for this bot lane. The Maokai, obviously, um, Bottleless Prime has been practicing Maokai a lot, and you know, it's shown some results. He's been really good with the Maokai and. The Samira pick is someone, someone more mechanical um, and very like engagey, aggressive. So we'll see coming from the bot lane here if we can see someone who's really strong and can carry the game. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just the top side. <laughs> <laughs> the top side for a New York Tech, it's like. Really good or really bad? I can't tell, but it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun game, is what it's gonna be. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> all right, okay. I sent all the promos out on on Twitter and I pinged the Discord, so people should be here knowing that we're actually playing these. Okay. Whew. Back to back games today. As we will be going in, we're going to be playing our normal uh, skin game. You see who's going to be winning based off of skins only. As soon as it pops up on my screen, I'm able to swap right over. New York Tech winning right now, winning the matchup 1 0, and they're trying to finish this one 2 0. Skins coming out. Right now, I think. Uh, I think St. Joseph's wins based off just the sheer amount of skins. And I do love the rework for Hex to Galio, the two damage Senna with the uh, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, uh, 
St. Joseph's has a lot of like gold cult color, I guess you would say from the Prestige Senna, Prestige Diana, and uh, the more recent skin of Chen. I, I forgot what the... It's a Chinese New Year's Nico skin, and the Malphite is glowing as bright as I ever <laughs> expected. Of course, um... We're having went, issues with uh, the time controls and the, the thing once again. It's okay. just normally. We'll probably get that back up, like, in a moment. Oh, alright, it fixed. I'm waiting for it to fix on my screen. Uh, just click on the scoreboard again. Like, on the timeline. There we go. What time yep. you at? I'm at 10. 10? Okay, can you stop at 15? Yeah, sure. Okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you're good. 16, okay. 17, okay, cool. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. We have fixed all the issues with League of Legends. Yeah. And we are getting directly into the action. New York Tech finally was able to fix up the scoreboard due to the fact that they made the entire top board much larger than they normally do. Now tracking uh, Rift Heralds and Dragons. And Ping's so, already coming out. Yeah, Ping's coming out. They understand that the Quinn is there. It's not much they can do about it. There's not enough damage. And I'm really surprised that the Quinn pick here is going to be decently good. Oh! They get a couple good hits onto the, uh, onto the Nico. Uh, and I'm surprised. They knew she was there. There was a lot of near that brush. I'm surprised Nico did not take any repercussions uh i mean i mean precautions yeah i think it, it could have gone it was the best way i think that hmm it could have gone yeah. a lot worse because if there was more people in that bush that nico would have been yeah. dead nico nico playing a really dangerous carefree. game <laughs> yeah and this time around we'll actually see um actually a roll swap uh because barbs and kb lines were actually mid and jungle respectively on their different games and oh i think we might be getting a pause for... oh he's no. back oh yeah they did pause and came back so we're good so normal laning coming out uh oh and my game crashed and mine did too okay so let me... <laughs> oh no we're back no, it... Oh, we're back. You just gotta wait it out. You just gotta wait it out. Yeah. That's really I funny. Mean, um, for those people on the stream, there's a lot of replay bugs happening recently, so... Because the bigger scoreboard on the top, that's what happens when you mess with perfection. Oh. Uh, apparently it's more of, like, champions' uh, abilities that are causing a lot of... Uh... Crashes. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah. I'm just glad I'm not the only person also getting that out. Well, at least I know it's yeah. not my internet. I, I, I don't want you to be alone in this. We're in this together. We're in this together one way or another. And surprisingly, um, St. Joseph's are going for the Fasting Senna. We've talked about this before. A reminder on what it is, is basically Senna's just not farming. Gallo is going to be farming, and this is because Senna does get a, more souls from attacking the enemy champions than she does from regular farming. Which in return turns into a more stronger Senna in the late game mm -hmm. compared to uh, your traditional Senna where she, she would probably peak at mid game. So. That's interesting I did, that, that, like, that meta became a thing. Ah, oh, and... Able to catch out the Amumu. Nico's gonna be able to go in. The Diana able to pick up the Q and then dash directly in and they will not be able to... They looks, it looks like they did pop the Ignite onto the Amumu. And... Oh... Let's 
see right here, Diana. Uh, oh, right, Diana's on Team Joseph's side. Sorry about <laughs> that. Whoa, I he got right like behind him. That's crazy. Yeah, even with the ward. There. <laughs> didn't uh, even see him. He's right on top of the ward. They're just they're just playing it cool. Oh, and uh, standard pathing, and this is actually the what you would have saw as uh, seen from last game. Both sides are playing really passive, which is really good. Well, and you know, until you say that, the channeling will be going through. The talent will not help because they're still attacking him. Uh, the Amumu is going to see if they can go through. And I think they will. The pull will connect, and Enjiritsu is going to be able to get a kill for themselves. As Mograph is going to see if they could chase down this Malphite. Yeah, a lot of fight. damage coming through onto this this uh big rock. Another dash directly in. Going to see if they can get them, and they will not. Yeah, and just as I was going to commend St. Joseph's for understanding that their win condition is just to farm and toward, uh, towards team fights once they have the items. And, well, yeah. Uh, uh, well, just uh, that. And that's going to be it. Yeah, and as I was saying, you know, St. Joseph. Last game, they also played pretty passive, and, you know, a lot of teams, you know, they'd say, hey, if we lose the first game, let's change it up. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's a really good, a really good mindset. You definitely need to change something up to, like, at least win the game. But from going from very passive from last game to being super aggressive right now in the mid game, I mean... At like six minutes in, this is not so, not the change you want to see from St. Joseph's. Your t their team comp for the last two games were just required farming and item leads. And compared to the last game, the only reason why they lost the last game is because they weren't farming that well. And so this game, instead of just farming better, they're deciding to take fights that are just not needed. And so we can Ooh, see the flash is gonna come through. Let's see if Bottleless Prime will be able to connect. Yes, they will be able to connect with the Senna. Nice damage coming through, and I think the Senna will not be long for this world. Nice push away against the Galio. Um, oh. Not sure how he got through that one. Was no, the there's punch actually through? no. There's a weird interaction that I just saw from Samira. Samira's passive is like done. Someone by or CC someone by throwing someone in the air as long as they CC themselves. Right? So, as you push them out, yeah. But some, the Samir passive like pulled them up and just kept them in the same spot, which is obviously That's... not ideal. I've uh, never seen that interaction before. Well, it's a it's a game of first right now as the Nico will use the pop blossom to get away from that. And looks like they will be able to meet up with them, and they will. KB Lions, unfortunately, the bird wins versus the lizard this time. Oh, and nice the Nice Malphite out. ult. Uh, Mograph should okay. get out of there. He needs to get out of there. Another Q, and he might die. Yeah. And you know, pretty good farming uh, wave for Diana. Too bad that she has the item debuff on the support, on the jungle item where she just can't farm more than the timer, which is pretty unlucky. And you know, okay. and when she did have a five minute dragon, I'm surprised <laughs> that even with the lead that they have right now, they're not gonna get that same dragon timer going for them. And we'll see. Andrew Andrew is gonna go into one v two, and I think might just be going down. Gonna pop the ults. Will he? They be able to get rid of the Senna. Will he be able to get rid of the of the Galio? The Galio is gonna start running away. He's already used his taunt. Toxic Panda will be going down. And Jiritsu takes down two on his own. Great push away from Bottleless Prime to stop that uh, forward momentum from KB Lions. Oh, and, and here KB comes Lions. the Amumu. Amumu's gonna be able to pop that ult and... A kill coming out the from... Sen the, the Samira is now 5-0. and oh. It is 8 minutes into the game. We are... We are averaging... We're a averaging minute. a kill per minute. Oh. And really good on uh, Hecti 12 there for staying in lane, not following the roam. Like he usually does. Um, 
really good to just stay up mid and keep the farm and the lead is now in his favor in terms of CS and they're gonna finally get the dragon. Find their gold lead by at least a thousand. So gold leads out for NY New York Tech by three thousand. Oh actually it's like four thousand. Almost exactly four thousand, yes. Yeah. So yeah, really good on New York Tech. All they need to do is just keep this up. And there's gonna there be another. Go. Oh my god, the alley oop is ridiculous. As the Nico is gonna be running for the hills. Gonna be caught up by. Mm -hmm. By the, uh. Uh. Maokai. I, I thought I was gonna say, I was gonna say Nautilus for some reason. Yeah, and, uh. I, I gotta commend the build from Hecti12. Uh. Really good on him to not go recurve vote first, uh, first back. A lot of Azir players do go that, but you actually want to prioritize a bit of more damage before you go for the recurve. Also, you're just... It's like those, uh, machine guns, but instead of, like, actual, like, bullets, <laughs> it's just, like, ped pedals. Uh, PV guns, so it's like, you're just not gonna deal damage. And so we're going to see a fight going on. Okay, here. able to stop that Galio punch. And Anjuritsu is... Is just, is just tearing them apart. Yeah. And, you know... I... I... Gotta commend St. Joseph's for even trying at this point. All of these plays are oh. practically hail Mary. KB Lions! Going for the execution. Will they be able to get there in time? They're yeah, just going to let it happen. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, I'm just really surprised that, um... And Ritsu with the 1v1 once again. Starting not to tower dive. 6-0 already have first person who has their mythic in this game. And... You know, all of these plates are basically Hail Marys from coming from St. Joseph's. I mean, they, they were behind 0-3 and they just keep... Um, pushing their lead away from them. Mm -hmm. you know, I think if St. Joseph... Oh, and the mist all coming out from Malphite. Oof. That is huge. Hate to see it. And a tower dive coming in. Uh, Andrews is going to pop the ult. Already got in one. But gets a second. Meanwhile, in the top lane, the, uh, the Amumu is going to be able to get that first kill. And we will look, be able to get that second. I'm sorry, both kills going over to the Quinn Mograph. Also able to get alive. Oh, the minion's going to be able to take him down. Oh, no. It doesn't, it's even, it doesn't even go to, to St. Joseph's. No. Yeah, the minions currently really have well. more oh. kills. Senna ulted and she missed a Maokai as well. Oh my. Does a barely. lot of missed opportunities coming from... You can't really blame a Senna. That, that was just a shot into the dark right there, hoping you're going to hit yeah. somebody. But the other one... The other one, ah. Oh, it's a bit, very big feels bad on that one. Yeah, and now we went from a kill a minute to going a bit above that. <laughs> About like wow. two and a half per minute. Yeah. One and a half, oh, I guess. Only one here. Yeah. Uh, it's like 1.3, 1. 1.2. 1.33 repeating, you know. Yeah. You know, we, we like to do that. We like to do that quick maths. We love rounding in America. We love rounding. We love the metric system. <laughs> and another fight. KO. Oh, no. In a bad position. Flash from Angiri here. You know, he wants to And he gets to just pop his ult whenever he wants to, too. But it's super unfortunate that Nico is going to pop the ult, is going to miss that and one. Thankfully for Hector, he's able to get away from that one. Mograth able to get that kill in. And the pop blossom was going to try to get Barbs away for just a moment. But Barbs able to get away. Great job. Looks like uh, the bottom lane is going to try to get some more uh, turret plates for themselves. Going to see if they could finish this one. Get that turret plate before 14 minutes? Yes, they will. I doubt they will be able to get that next one, though, within the next four seconds, two seconds, one second. So... 
Did they get it? No. Well, first turret finally comes through and they're gonna be looking towards this dragon. A couple more seconds they would have been able to get that last turret plate money. And finally, uh, New York Tech has a 10,000 gold lead. Gold bounties uh, are up though, so we're gonna see what's gonna be able to what's gonna happen here. Mograf's gonna be able to get the kill onto the Diana, and it looks like the Senna will not be long for this world. Gonna be able to kill off Andritsu. 11 and 0. Mograf, 7 and 1. Unfortunately, the minions have a lot Ooh. of kill in their pockets, which is more kills than I feel like the minions should have. And good emote. And. So, uh, oh, yeah, okay, I, I forgot. I forgot that Nico could do the copy thing, and I was like, "There's no way Diana's running in with 100 in, health. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way." She sees something that we don't. Uh, wow, this is really, really terrible position for St. Joseph's. Really good um, buy from Hecate 12 Crown. Uh, a lot of pro players are building that first item. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about that since like not many players have seen that? Yeah, so, um, oh, yeah, this we're is right a... after this as uh, KB Lion's gonna see if they can get something from this. They're gonna be caught between a couple people in a hard place. Nice push away. Hecti will be able to get out of that as uh, Andrew has now come to save a day. Gonna pop the ult, gonna be able to get two kills from themselves. The Amumu's gonna be able to pick up the Senna and... Uh, no. <sighs> That's uh, gonna go all the way over to the side bears. And let's hear about that crown that apparently it saved the day for Hecti there as he was popped yeah, during the actually, last team fight. So, that item is just really good into assassins. It's very, it's very much meant for what it was made for, which is to protect these mages from assassins. So the first few damage coming out from enemy champions into crown will be reduced by like a huge 75 percent yes i'm reading right now yeah 75 percent so you know if you're gonna try to Andrewitsu. kill this uh azir it's gonna be really hard and is behind the really entire hard. team uh, i don't think they should be looking for anything although if they want okay. to cut their stats and yeah oh Okay, they're gonna see if they can get rid of Bottle this time, but they will not. Here comes the Amumu, great flash away to be able to get away from that one. Taunted, the Amumu is gonna see if he could possibly survive this, no, and they will the not. Perfect the perfect kill. game out of the Cybear's hands at this point, but here comes the rest of the Cybear squad for to avenge their fallen teammate. Oh, and Jiritsu's on his way. Here comes the dash, here comes the ult, that's the first kill, that's the second kill, that's a third kill, triple kill going over to Andrewitsu as the, as Mograth will be able to get that one, and Ace, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, um, sharing going on on the side bear squad. Yeah, and a really good ult, um, despite Hecti missing that, he actually, uh, positioned that really well and it split a lot of uh, of St. Joseph's players just across the map for NG Risu to just clean them up. Clean them up. And he, so, came, he walked in with less than half health and it's just, yeah. I guess it's just all that damage just coming in perfectly for him. Yeah, yeah another kill right going here. over to St. Joseph's. I'm, I don't think that the, um, I don't, you could see the, the question mark pings coming through. I don't think oh, that geez. the, oh my God, that was very close. Andrizu with the help of the Amumu able to pick up three kills once again 19 0 and 9 Looking for that uh, that Valorant 30 bomb coming in very very soon if it keeps going at this rate Oh And you know Really good play from every single player from New York, New York Tech and Another surprise coming in from the Malphite I I would hope that they're just gonna build tank. None of their players are building any tank. I guess they're prioritizing damage over literally anything. Yeah, but you need to survive to create the damage. Yeah, you need to survive and... You know, Malphite... He's been doing a lot of the surviving, but he needs to... What? He uh, needs to be the one that's supposed to be dealing the damage. Why does... Why does Galio have a Night Harvester? Mm. Why does... I think this is a uh, reference to 
Uh, Hecti. Hecti actually does not like that item, so... We're okay, just hey, gonna we're gonna spot out uh, Anjuritsu yeah. and uh, Bottleless Prime. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, I just... A lot of these items are huge blunders. And we finally see the first item from Diana 19 minutes into the oh, game. Oh no. Protobelt. Oh, a great ult coming in, but will, some, will this be the end for Anjuritsu? Is him taking a lot, a lot of damage there, but thankfully the ult, the, the, uh, just Whoa. too much coming in. Anjuritsu will the be able to survive coming. a quadra. Will that be the penta? That's going to be a penta kill. Second one for the side bear squad and all the time. We have been streaming. Anjuritsu with the penta kill now 24 0 and 9. And really, really like strong showing from Anjuritsu. Uh, and just amazing play all, all around from all these players. You know, good build from Maokai for not building the mythic item. You actually dead man plays first item because of the movement speed it gives and the support, mm -hmm. the supportability that um, dead man gives where you auto, when you auto attack uh, a champion for the first time at a hundred stack, which would basically give an uh, stronger damage output yeah. for first damage and it's really good given that you're probably gonna mark that person and then you know your Samira is gonna clean everything up and New York Tech is holding really strong on the bottom left side of the jungle here they come, and Jerizu with another kill on the board. Mograph might die very, very soon if Diana, yes, that protobelt is finally going to come in handy. Oh. And 25 kills for Jerizu. Oh, we're able to connect with the, um, <laughs> with the Maokai. I mean, with, with the... Man, I am just spacing out today. And Jerizu yeah, still going for that, for that 30 bomb, 26-0. Oh. And they're gonna be chasing down this Malphite. And 27. 27. Going for the 30 bomb, it looks like. And they should be going for the Baron here and just like secure the game. Uh, really good play from New York Tech. And a lot of really strong items coming out from New York Tech. A width end from Quinn, even though you're winning. With the end coming out against the four AP carries from St. Joseph's, this is really strong. If this was a more closer game, this would have turned the tables around. And yeah, and really interesting buy from Hecti for still not going to Nash's Tooth. Um, Nash's Tooth used to be good on uh, Azir, but not anymore. And really good uh, eye from Hecti12 for understanding that and just building straight into what I assume is Shadow Flame? Oh, it's actually a Nash's Tooth. Okay. There we go. There we go. Uh, three members of St. Joseph in the bottom lane. Oh, Might wait, are we going to see the triple? Oh, that's four actually, isn't it? Uh, yes, that is for Andritsu with the 28. Do we see a 29? 29. Do we see the 30? Andritsu looking for it and looks like hey, they will be able to pick up that one. They're going to see if they can chase this one down. 30 bomb. All right in sight. Oh, and, and 30. 30. 30 bomb. This is a Cybear's record, ladies and gentlemen. 30 kills on one singular person in game. Over half the kills in the game on Anjuritsu. 30, 0, and 12. Mograph gonna see if they can secure the ace. And the Cybear's with the Baron buff should be able to finish this one in a solid less than 25 minutes. Yeah, and, you know pretty overall dominating i mean yeah this mogra no. and see if they is gonna it's gonna see how much damage he can take before going down heck he gonna go down very very low we'll be going down to kb lions kb lions gonna get another kill for themselves going two and eleven but anjuritsu looking to pad those stats even more Farming up champions like their minions. 
32 oh and 13 cyber is looking to finish off this game it's gonna kill off the the malphite for fun and that will be it cybears win the series 2-0 uh, gg yeah that's gonna be ggs not much to say really good play from new york tech all right well cool um Let's get Angeritsu in here because there's no way we we let the we let this go without a without an interview or something like that. Oh, I mean, just dominating performance from them from him. I'm gonna add him very quickly. Just give give us a moment, everyone, and we will be back in a moment. All right, we'll be back in a moment for that interview, and then we'll probably send it off for the night. Give me a minute. Hello, how you doing today, Jordan? How was how was that game? How did you how, was, how did you feel about that game? It was like it's, you know, you know. Hey, yeah, yeah, nothing, mean, nothing major, you know, just the uh, the the Valorant uh, thirty bomb, but in League of Legends and thirty two kills and the second ever Penta kill ever recorded for Cybears. Bears. So how how did what what happened? Um, so look. If, if I'm being honest, I was the, the thought going into this game was like, I kind of, I just want to pop off, right? Okay. And so we went with the Samira first pick mm -hmm. and just bold choice just, and just worked around it, I think. And I think, I think it worked. I think, I think it worked. It may, I, it, I don't know. It may have worked. Yeah. 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 I'm but, trying to get yeah. the damage graph through, through, but it's just not, it just doesn't want me to see it. I was pretty hyped when I got the Penta though, so that was yeah, that was it was pretty... it was a lot. <laughs> but yeah, 32, 33, I'm sorry, thirty three zero and thirteen over half the kills on the team. How about uh how how was the rest of the team feeling? And uh, tell us a little bit about that first game as well, since unfortunately we weren't able to cover it. Um, I think we were just feeling very confident going into the second game mm -hmm. uh first game was pretty clean we didn't do anything crazy in draft really it was just pretty standard picks and everything seemed to work out so we decided in the second game maybe we should spice it up a little bit and okay. well yeah that's kind of how we went into the second game we see the the quinn pick for uh ifa there yeah that was uh that was that was something so <laughs> Yeah, tell us a little bit about that because from what I've heard that uh uh Mograph Aoife, um he does not like Quinn whatsoever. So did he lose a bet or something is something that we were kind of guessing on the caster's desk. Um okay, so basically what happened was <laughs> the dog going into the game was Aoife and Joe were going to pick two champions and we were just gonna work around it. And 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 Joe kind of just decided he was going to he was gonna mess with Eva, so that, that kind of explains the Quinn pick. It, okay. it worked out anyways, but yeah, he wanted to, he wanted to mess with Hector, but we didn't get to because I mean Hector decided to go a zero on his own, so yeah, Joe kind of won out in that regard. <laughs> That's funny. 
Uh, Renta, do you have any questions for him? Uh, no, nothing much. I mean, like, that was, that was a really good game. Yeah. <laughs> good job, man. I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's 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 look forward to next week. You had your match rescheduled to next Tuesday, the 1st of March, versus the uh, your your uh, your last year's rivals in Farmingdale. So how are you how are you guys preparing for that? How are you guys feeling about that? Uh, I think, I mean, we're feeling pretty confident going into it. Obviously, we're going to do some preparation with draft stuff, figure out what it is. They like to play and everything, you know, they have mm-hmm. their uh, old mid laner roll swap to ADC. So uh, I'm going to, I guess, figure out what that's about. But yeah, I mean, I hope to have a similar performance. Maybe, I don't know if I'm going to get 33 kills, but you yeah. know, it'll, it'll, it'll be something. It'll be something. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So you guys are currently two, three and one. Uh, if we count that by week from last week, uh, right. I'm going to double check that right now. Uh, you you have your next match versus Farmingdale. Then you have STU Bobcats followed by Damien and then CSI Dolphins. And the last one of the year on the 25th of March will be SNHU. Just based off of that, how do you guys think you're going to be doing this season? Um, well, obviously, I think we just hope to get to finals again. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really matter who we're going to end up facing in finals. We just want to get back. Especially, I think it's like super important this year because we have like... I mean, Hector's graduating, and I think Ifa's also graduating. So yeah. we definitely want to get the dub this time around for them. And I've just been doing my best to try and improve so we can make that happen. All right. But yeah. Okay. Right now, the top of the leaderboard is looking Farmingdale Rams, SNHU, Malloy, Wildcats with Cy Bears in fifth place because there's a four-way tie for her first place. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Followed by you guys is STU Bobcats, uh, CSI Dolphins, St. Joseph's, uh, Golden Eagles, and the Mavericks, Mercy College, if I'm, yeah, I'm correct. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing the rest of the season from you. Hopefully see another Pentacle, and if we're very, very lucky, another 30 bomb. But um, thank you guys. Thank you so much for, for, uh, for interviewing with us. Yeah, anytime, anytime. All right, guys, we will see you guys. We heard um, Tuesday will be our next League of Legends game and then hopefully followed by a Friday game after that. So we will keep you guys posted. Um, thank you guys for coming by. If you guys want to see some more Cybears action or keep in contact with the Cybears and see what, what other games we're streaming, turn on to our, all of our social media stuff. It's right down the bottom of our Twitch. We'll see you guys a little bit later and have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Bye.